This video is about my meeting with Mother Teresa. And because we didn't have digital cameras with video override back in 1984, Turner's Travels uniquely comes from my kitchen in May 2014, followed by another video about Nelson Mandela. I was in British Mary's school in December 1984 when the Head of Humanities gave us, teachers in her team, next terms worksheets. And on one of them, it was about the work of Mother Teresa. And by coincidence, I was going to India with my friend. And I said to my friend, let's buy a ticket and go off course Let's go to Calcutta, see if we can find Mother Teresa, and if we can't find her, we'll photograph the dying destitutes on the streets, which is the main reason why she became so famous. And Mother Teresa spent all her life working to help the poorest of the poor people. She was a geography teacher. She had a call within a call. She had a call to be a nun and a call within that to help the poor by leaving the school in Calcutta and going out into the slums. And she became one of the most famous women in the world. And she said that poverty is because the poor suffer for the mistakes of others and they are the victims of unemployment. She was 87 years old when she passed away. She spent the last 47 years helping the poorest of the poor people. And she became famous for giving love and dignity to the sick and dying and she won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. We were in Calcutta and I was collecting humanities course materials. I was writing about human rights for a school assembly and for a publication for school teachers slide packs. And I knocked on her convent door. And I realised this lady was a pinnacle of providence. Despite being only four feet inches Four feet eleven inches tall, I felt very small because her words were from God. And we were absolutely thrilled to spend about an hour and a half with Mother Teresa in her convent, her home in Calcutta. And her convent was very uncomfortable because it was right on the edge of the circular road, so noisy, there were no fans. The nuns only had possessions of a safari and a bucket to wash their sari. And she had commitment, which was total, to helping the poor people because she loves everybody. As far as I'm concerned, she was the most famous, accessible lady in the world. She had time for everybody. And she had no sense of self-importance. And she deflected compliments all the time by replying to me, all for Jesus. And she worked consistently so that others might have the right to a decent standard of living. In 1952, she opened her first hospital to the dying destitutes. It was Mother's First Love, the Hospital of the Sacred Heart. Now she has hospitals all over the world, and this is the main focus of her work. Just like a convent, there is a life of no comfort in this hospital. The nuns have to carry the patients and they suffer with them to identify with them, so it's not social work. And when you talk about Mother Teresa, people just have an outline, a vague idea of what she did. But we were given permission to photograph these dying destitutes in her hospital. And volunteers come from all over the world to care for the sick and dying. And this shows love for one another at the highest level. It shows total commitment to those less fortunate than ourselves. And you, the children that I teach when you're a little older, you can go to India and become a volunteer. I was just a visitor for a couple of days. But their sense of loneliness will be relieved by a sense of you sharing in their suffering and showing your concern. They cannot understand English, but by being touched, you will bring them a great sense of comfort. And this is the typical condition of people who are cared for in the hospital. 
And most people, as you can perceive from what I'm saying to you, don't live, they die, and the coffin is just inside the door. Two or three people die a day. But Mother Teresa said to me that when a person dies, it's a beautiful sight because they're going home to God. And she kept holding our fingers and kept relating to the Bible where Jesus tells a teaching of how if you help other people, you are helping Jesus because you're doing it for him. Because he says in the Bible that when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison, you came to visit me. And these things you did for me. And Mother Teresa kept saying to me as she grabbed my hand, you did it for me. That was the teaching of Jesus. And... I couldn't help but ask whilst I was recording all this if she would write something in my diary. She gave her address as Missionaries of Charity, 117 Bravington Road, London W9, in case people want to donate because all the money goes to the poor because the nuns work for nothing and usually airlines give free tickets to Mother Teresa and her nuns. She wrote to me, Dear Michael, love others as God loves you. God bless you, Mother Teresa, 20th of December, 1984. That is almost 30 years ago. And I carry her picture with me all around the schools and in my rucksack, hence all around the world, because her and Nelson Mandela are amongst the greatest and the most famous people of the 20th century and their memory will live forever and their lives will perpetually inspire others who are receptive to help make this world a better place. Thanks for following this video of Turner's Travels from Bernamont Sea, Somerset, England.